Once you've created a Spark Pro account, at any time you can log into your cloud by either clicking the Login button here on the SparkMotion homepage, or by browsing to cloud.sparkmotion.com. Once you've logged into the cloud, using the same username and password you used to log into the app, this is the home screen you'll see, with your navigation options listed on the left here. The first option is View Registered Devices. Every app on all iPads has a unique device ID number. If your account is set up for five iPads, then the first five iPads that users log into will be the five active devices listed. Note, each iPad's device ID number is also listed on the app login screen, here. The most important thing to note on this screen is this Manage Device function, here. Clicking it will reveal the Deactivate Device option. So let's say, for instance, you got a new iPad, and you want to stop using the Spark Pro app on the old iPad. Here's what you would do. First, on your current iPad, be sure to upload all videos to the cloud. This is important because once you deactivate that iPad, you will no longer be able to use the app or get to the videos. Once all your videos are safely in the cloud, you can click this Deactivate Device link. You'll see a message asking if you're sure you want to deactivate the app on that device. Say yes. You will then notice the device ID number disappears from this list. Now you can download a free copy of the Spark Pro app to your new iPad, start it up, and log in. The first time you log in on the new iPad, it must be connected to Wi-Fi. The system will assign the new app a device ID number, and you will then again see that number listed here in your cloud. So it's important to know if you have multiple iPads in an account and you need to deactivate one, simply match up the device ID number on the app login screen here with the device ID number listed in your cloud here to find the correct one. If your account was set up by credit card, you'll see this Manage Device Licenses link here. If you don't see this link, it's because you have a contract account and you must email contract support at sparkmotion.com if you want to change your license configuration. But for those who pay for their account via credit card, you can click here to add or remove device licenses at any time. You will notice here this account is a single iPad account. If I wanted to add two iPads to this account, I simply change the number here to three, which is the total number of devices I want in my account. When you change this number, you'll notice here the storage amount and the monthly price for the new configuration. So at any time, you can change the total number of devices in your account. Your billing will be prorated for however many days are left in your monthly billing cycle. When ready, click the Update Licensing button here to make your new configuration effective. The next link in the navigation bar is View Storage. Click this link to see how many videos are in your cloud and how much storage you're currently using. The next link you'll see, if your account is paid for by credit card, is Manage Storage Options. Use this link if you want to add more megabytes of storage to your account. You will not see this link if you have a contract account, as you must email contract support at sparkmotion.com to add storage to your account. The next navigation option on the cloud home screen is SRV management here. We'll cover this in the next tutorial. This next option here is view users. This link shows you a list of users, but only if you, as a user, have admin privileges. If you have admin privileges in your account, you can manage users here. The Edit Users link here allows you to change the first or last name and designate the user as an admin or not. The Reset Password link will cause an email to go to the user with a temporary password along with instructions on how to choose a new permanent password. Lastly, there's a Deactivate User option. Again, this option will only appear to users with admin privileges. We'll cover the other cloud features in the next tutorials.